Anytime you've got an emerging technology, there will be significant opportunities, you know, whether it's in medicine and transportation and finance. Anytime there's opportunity, though, there's always going to be risk. Data theft and data fraud is a very significant issue. Because so many businesses are interconnected with one another, just because there's attack on one specific company doesn't mean that just that specific company is impacted. If you look back in the history of cyber attacks or data breach events, in most cases they happened against one particular entity. The Dyn DDoS attack in October 2016 was very different though. Dyn controls many of the domain name system infrastructure. And what happened when there was a DDoS attack on Dyn, it impacted not just one specific entity, but it impacted multiple entities all at the same time. And so that particular event really put accumulation or that aggregation of risk for cyber on the map. And it was really the first event that brought awareness to this issue that not only only could I be impacted from a cyber attack, but even companies with whom I have no connection to, if they're impacted by a specific event, I could be impacted by it as well. Artificial intelligence and robotics were ranked as the highest in terms of benefits, but also in terms of the negative consequences as a result. And that particular area of technology really infiltrates so many different areas. There's not one specific area where AI is going to be particularly prevalent. We see it in medicine, we see it in transportation, we see it in finance. And the more that continues to advance, the more interconnected everything gets as a result of that. There are a number of different technologies that are emerging that clearly will have a very significant impact on the global economy. But again, with that do come probably the most negative consequences as a result. And I think that speaks volumes to the fact that the risks are so interconnected with one another. Preparedness is very much about taking a holistic view of one's risk management and really now looking at it through a cyber lens. So it's looking at disaster recovery plans. It's looking at business continuity plans and planning for specific cyber scenarios that may happen to not only your business, but also the entities to whom you are dependent upon in the event that they are brought down. As we look across the spectrum of emerging technologies like artificial intelligence, space technology, 3D printing, biotechnology, and even the Internet of Things, there is a wide range of risk and opportunity, and particularly for business leaders.